G'day there. Ninja Panda says, better fix it, home maintenance and repair. Hi, this business is for sale. That is the name, the logo, the email, the workshop trailer, the equipment, the tools are housed in it, and Ninja Panda. Hi there, my name is Wayne Sutton from Better Fix It Home Maintenance and Repair. I've been working a number of years in this business and I've found the biggest hassle is taking all the tools out on the job that you need and being able to access them easily without uh, taking time that you can't charge your client. So here are all the tools that I have in this van and uh, you'll see the process and the ease of which you can actually uh, pull them out and operate. Okay, so what do I have in the boxes? I have uh, spray suits, G-clamps, sealants, brushes and rollers, nibblers and, and uh, uh, electrical equipment, screws, nuts and bolts, cleaning, plaster tools, plaster tape and stuff, roof ladder, sanding blocks, crowbars, levels and electrical gear and a, uh, a tent system and a, um, a saw that operates off the vehicle, and I'll show you how that works in a minute. Okay, back again. Uh, we need cleaning equipment uh, to be able to clean your hands because you may not be able to get in the house to clean. You've got all your saws, your um, uh, chainsaws, your uh, battery grinders, and your drills, and your battery uh, equipment, your sanders, your spray gun, uh, and I have bits and pieces in these boxes as an overflow, and these ones I would leave in my garage and only take out when I need. When we come to this section here, it's important for me to uh, do uh, carpentry work, electrical, uh, plumbing, and painting. And so I have a separate belt that fits around my waist here that I can click on. It just clicks on in place and away I go. Uh, these here are uh, screws and, and nuts and bolts. This here, if I'm just exploring, I go in with just a bag. I've got my um, Kango hammer, my nail gun, uh, my protection. When I'm actually doing um, a tree work or digging or, or stuff like that, uh, we have uh, a metal saw, which I'll show you how that works shortly. We've also got equipment here that attaches to the side of the vehicle to enable us to have a roller system for taking wood directly to the saw. And uh, we've got a vacuum system that actually sucks up all the dust and stuff so that you're not having to sweep up somebody's yard. Okay, the big thing is to be able to carry big sheets of jib board, which will go directly right out to here. So this is how I do it. I just place those on there, and one up the other end. And now I can push the sheet up against here where I will have four by two, and rest here and comes out to about here. And I've got a roller system to be able to assist you. Uh, and that's the main thing for, for contracting. Okay, this is a sheet of ply which I've waterproofed and cut niches out so I don't have to tie it down. The objective is to... Whoa, a lot of noise. Okay, so they go on there. I have these two laminated bits of planking that fits on here. And I have a bolt that just goes straight through there and holds it in place. Just needs a bit of persuasion. Now I've got the ability to uh, create a system where I can cut wood. But then the next best thing is this. I think this is just fantastic.
Now remember, I'm out in the job on my own. So, so I need something quick and easy like I've got here now. So I've got my bench and I can do doors. Okay, so now I need to cut the wood or, or whatever, uh, or the steel. I've got a vise on here. I've got my saw, which I can cut all my angles, and I'm gonna mount that on the front of the trailer. Okay, so now I'm locking the bench in place. So the big thing with this trailer for me is to be able to go away on ho in holidays as well. So I've got a ball there, so I can put my bikes on, and here's my vacuum cleaner so I don't leave a mess. I'll go around so you can see. And I just drop, do up the bolt, which I'm not gonna do at the moment, but that just drops on there in place. And uh, I, I put a bolt through so that it stays in place. I don't have to, uh, I can travel with it with my cover over. The other thing about this area here is to be able to put uh, bags of quickcrete and cement and all sorts of stuff like that. But I uh, also have the ability to put ladders on here. So the next thing we'll do is we'll put ladders on. Okay, so all I want to do is clip the ladder on. This one's a bit heavier, it's a bigger one. Okay, so there's my ladders in place ready to, to clamp on. I've got the vacuum, I've got my vise, I've got my saw. I can carry bikes if I want. I can cut wood, I can cut steel. Now here's my metal cutoff saw. I find being an engineer by trade, I need one for sure. So I just flick that off, put it over there, bolt it in, in a position here and I'm done. Okay, the next thing is my tent system, which I think is really great fun. I'll get up here and do it, might be easier. So then I just Allen key that in there and, and do it up. Uh, what happens here is this undoes and comes out right out to here and I've got sandbags that go on each end and I cord it down from the from the straight out veranda type uh, cover and, and hold it down to the, uh, to the sandbags. Okay, I've broken the trailer up into sections and what I've done here is put my engineering side here with my uh, bins for various bits and pieces that I need all the time and underneath I have two lazy Susies and these spin round and house all the boxes. Now I'm going to load them in. I have them colour coded. I don't know whether they're right at this time, but it doesn't matter. We'll put them all in. Okay, now we're around the back end and we have another Lazy Susie and we have all my tools here again. I find it really, really handy. Uh, may seem a bit geeky, but the reality is it works. I know where everything is and uh, I can operate it no trouble at all. Um, I've got my clamp saw. I screw the saw in so it's not gonna run away, but it's just under one small screw and that's it. The other thing is here <coughs> are the latches. And then I'll load up this side. Engineers are famous for overdoing things. I'm a minimalistic engineer. Okay, so that's, they don't move and that's all done and I'll clamp the other one off. These say, lazy Susies just pop straight out. They've only got a peg in the centre and when this lifts up, you can drop them out very easy so the whole van is completely free. 
uh, and this is a foam double-sided metal uh, building material. It's fantastic. I just have rails to hold it in and one screw up the other end, that's it. These here are tracks for a pull-out system for my tools, which I'm going to show you next. This to me is the absolute uh, creme de la creme for, for, for working out on the job. I can put all my tools in there. And so I have a roller system, uh, two lots of rollers, and this is free here with just a, a buffer pad. That rolls, rolls in and out, and I can put all my tools on there, and I'll do that shortly, but there's other tools I need to put in before I do that. Okay, I find these things are an absolute pain. They roll all over the place. So all I do is just poke it up against the, the end. I can put lots of other things on it. Oopsie, here we go. The next things is paper towels, rags, wet wipes, and I just put them straight in here. Okay, we'll go back to the drop saw now and I'll finish off there because I'm packing some of the stuff away. This is my extension that goes underneath here. I won't put it in because it'll take too much by the time we fluff around and load it all up. But this goes on it with a roller. Okay, I'm taking off a roller here. So that I can actually put it into here. For your timber out the other end. Here I have a magic uh, tree chopper. It is just incredible. You don't push it to cut, you actually pull. And that just chops the tree down like you wouldn't believe. Okay, the nail gun and the uh, uh, Kango hammer or whatever you call it. In that goes. Now my nail and screw boxes I just put in here. And I've got a bungee. Okay, here we go. We're going to load the tools in roughly the priority of, of use, or the, um, the amount of use. So the electric di uh, disc grinder isn't used so much. And the planer, uh, the electric skill saw, the battery skill saw, the Panasonic batteries, and the little hammer drill. The battery disc grinder is just awesome. And my my store store a really great tool. This one, battery chargers. Battery chargers, I just put them out of the way. Then my belt holder and bits and pieces, I just throw those on top. No, there's nowhere easy to put them. So the nail gun, uh, grinding blades, cut off blades and stuff like that, I just put them in here with my plumbing kit. Now you'll notice here I've got uh, boxes. Some have got bits and pieces in. Uh, um, this one here has got my spray gun in. I only take those when I, I really need them. And I, mean, I could jam them in, but what's the point? Now, as you can see, I've put bits and pieces in here uh, that I've been using uh, regularly. Uh, my last job, I was using a lot of um, long screws and bits and pieces, so I've left them there because I've got to go back and do that job anyway. The next thing is, um, I'll just put that out of the way there. I put my hand toolbox there. So cleaning up after you're on the job is pretty important, so I just put that down here. Now, if I want to 
work. I haven't got a bench because I've filled it in there. But if I do this, now I can play around with drills and so on. I've put uh, non-slip material in here so things don't shoot all over the place. But on here I might put a thin piece of, of timber. That's about all. Uh, so all in all, we are all set to go. Okay, so I've got all my tools back. I've got my screwdrivers and chisels and, and punches and small files and everything's at my fingertips. I've got a, a shelf wherever I need it to actually work on, especially here. Okay, when you get into a, a factory like we are now, you can lose light and I've found it's really annoying. So I've got myself a pole. I'm not going to put it right up, but in essence it goes on top of there and gives me all the light that I need. And in between time, I can put that on here and then I can carry long gutters. Okay, I forgot to put this in and so I put this in now and hang it up. Okay, so what are we doing now is we're packing up. Okay, this is good night to the engineering side of my business, and uh, that's all secure. Um, I'll probably have to go home and, and, and wash it because it's been out in the rain today. I've got the um, uh, racks here bolted down. Uh, everything's in, and I say good night to uh, the woodworking and the electrical. And I leave these on. Uh, and I always give my client one of these. In fact, they ask me, what have you got that I can give to a friend? Because I've got lots of people that would like some work done. So I've got that waterproofed. And then here, I've just put a cover over everything there and the vacuum cleaner. I don't need to, but it's a, a wet and dry vacuum cleaner. The ladders are all, all uh, strapped in and I'm all set to go home. So it's been wonderful presenting uh, my fun product here. Um, you can go on to my site and learn more. And uh, I wish you all the success in your ventures if you're endeavoring to do something in the uh, home maintenance and repair area.